It's gone for it. There's a man down there. It's over his head. He's too, too close. It's gone all the way, but he was inside the rope. Looked like it carried to me. It was a bounce. It was well bowled by Andy Caddick. Hayden went for it. It went straight over the head. Harmus in a deep, fine leg. And I think it probably carried. This is a good bouncer from Andrew Caddick. He got the ball high. Matthew Hayden was no way was he in control of that hook shot. Oh, he's hit that through cover. He's in great form. Just a ring. Any half always this summer, he's put away either straight or square. Glorious start. That's well bowled. Driving on the up. Could have easily gone to the keeper. Very risky shot to play early on this from Langer. He might be confident, but occasionally you're overconfident. There's absolutely no feet movement there. It's quickest ball of the summer from Harmison, 150. And there's another one. Oh, it could have gone anywhere. Struck him on the body. It's in two good deliveries in a row. Nice and straight. That was 147.2. All of a sudden, it's not so easy for Justin Langer. It was off the glove as well. A nice shot. Once again, a tad too short. Mandy Caddick. And was so strong there, Matthew Hayden. Ah! It's a better shout. Better length too. No response from Russell Tiffin. Andrew Caddick's got that in the right areas, but Matthew Hayden bats a long way out of his crease and also... Looked to me like he got just far enough forward to create some doubt. The line's good, but he is a long way forward there. Wonderful shot again. Beautifully played. Again short, and again that pull shot that he plays so well. And Matthew Hayden is helping himself out of these short deliveries. He really is. That's in the air. Oh, and he's swirling around. He didn't pick it. He didn't pick it. He went right and then uh, started to come left. I'm sure that as it went off the top edge into the air, Crawley lost it. And uh, that's the reaction there of the bowler. They've uh, put the trap down there. They've got two back. He's gone for this one. I reckon he was trying to hit this for six. And he's gone in all different directions there. Oh, he's hit that one. He's hit that one beautifully. Down to the boundary for four again. Well, one has to say about Justin Langer, he has come on when it comes to over-pitch deliveries. He doesn't half go after them. Oh, how good is that? Goes a long, long way. It goes for six. Such is the power of this man. He's a great entertainer. White coming around the wicket. It was like taking candy from a child. He just went straight through the line and the side of the line. Must be a good grab in the crowd as well. Once again, Hayden and these Australian batsmen making a mockery of the size of the MCG. Did I say he was struggling on the front foot? Correction. That's fine. I'm not sure whether it's a bat or by. We'll wait for the call. It's very fine with glance if it was. Goes all the way. Four runs, another 50 from Matthew Hayden. Hayden a superb son. It's the card at lunch. Wanger 33, Hayden 53. Extras only two. It's none for 88. Straight towards it, but uh, just a little bit wide. Well, that's 100 partnership uh, number eight for this pair. And there's 50 for Justin Langer. That was a fine shot. He absolutely launched himself at that one oh, 
Braden has just uh, arrogantly deposited that over mid-wicket. That is a bad sign for England. I think that's where is my sweater time, so far as the bowler is concerned. That's a bit cheeky. Brilliant, but cheeky. Big shout there from James Foster. The umpire says no. None for 128. Certainly in the... That was way out in front of the pad. Now there's a deflection there. Not really sure. Maybe that was bad or pad, but I know that's a good shot. He rode that beautifully. Matthew Hayden, it was short. Just timed it nicely. Very fine from Justin Langer. And this outfield's quick. That's, that's Justin Langer's sixth boundary since lunch. And the eighth boundary in the last six overs. Oh, that's six. That is beautifully timed. And it's over the rope by about five or six metres. That's a wonderful shot. Well, the rope is well in. It's a good 25, 30 metres in from the boundary edge, but it's still a big hit from Matthew Hayden. Deliberate uppercut over Gully, using the pace of Stephen Harmison. Oh, it's short. And once again, it got what it deserved. Two short balls turned the over, a six and a boundary. That's four more. Well, that's out and out lack of respect, that shot. It was premeditated, he wasn't there. And he went through the, with the shot anyway, picked up another boundary. Oh, that's a beautiful hit. Nothing mistimed or lucky about that one. Maybe well have been premeditated again, but it was beautifully hit. See where the lunch break was. It was around about there. Since then, there's been some, a lot of big overs. Lots of overs have gone for more than four. And there's what, one, two, three, five overs have gone for eight or more since lunch. Oh, cracks him over long on. That's the same result. Well, he's hitting the ball very cleanly. Matthew Hayden. It's in the air, but it's through the vacant gully area. And it's four more. And Hayden races into the 90s. Well, there it goes. He's hit that hard. It's in the air. This is going to be out court, is it? No, it's not. Back for the second he comes, and this is going to be his century. Yes, it is. Matthew Hayden, 12 test centuries now, eight in Australia. This is his second at the MCG. He's third against England, all of this series. Take a bow, Matthew Hayden. And a record to 600s in a calendar year, never before done by an Australian. Well, that's in the air. This is out. This is all over. Hayden's out. Caught mid off. Surely, yes, he's gone. Well, he's tried to whip that one away on the onside, and I think there must have been a bit of front edge in that one. It's gone straight up in the air, and that brings an end to what has been an outstanding innings. Matthew Hayden will get a standing ovation here. Caught at mid-off for 102, and once again, he and Lang are putting together a superb partnership. He kisses the blade, he motions that he wanted to play it straighter. He played two magnificent flicks under the onside. This one, he turns the bat a little early. Takes the leading edge, John Crawley takes the catch. He's hit that one uh, in the air and uh, down the ground. And all the way. So another four, that takes him now to 95. 
This will be a pretty special moment, I've got to tell you, for uh, Justin Nanger. He talks about uh, the Boxing Day Test match, this moment, this, uh, this big day in cricket, a lot. And uh, I'm sure that 100 here on, on Boxing Day will be a memory that he will absolutely cherish. Totally respectful of the traditions of the game, Justin Langer, so he, should, he definitely will. He's just decided to play the full face of the bat that time and flip one almost for six. Oh, he's gone for it. This could be 100. This could be it. He's hit it for six. What a way to go. Justin Langer has smashed it to the boundary. He's gone from 95 to his century. That's his 13th century in Test match cricket. Ninth one here in Australia, the third against England, and he's very first at the MCG. Well played. One for 218 before T on the first day. Run rate of 4.49, which is superb. Oh, how easy is that? Beautifully timed. Full face of the bat, just angle it down through the gap. Superb batting. Not a good start. Under half hour, he punched down the ground. Well, Boxing Day 2002, not good for England. Superb. Hardest shot to play on drive. He's played it superbly. Beautiful use of the feet, which are just medium pace. It's great to watch. Got him inside heads. Big wicket for England. Craig White strikes. That is a big wicket. Much needed. Inside edge under the stumps. Hunting's gone. That's exactly what uh, White had to do. Tie them down. Try and get a wicket. Just angled that one in from uh, fairly wide on the crease. May be that uh, Ricky Ponty was just sort of playing for T there. He's gone after looking very uh, promising in that start. And Australia have lost their second wicket with 235 on the board. Example of it. It's hit something. Is it bat? Is it helmet? They've gone up. It's harmless and short at the head of Langer. The umpire's not sure what's going. They're about to confer. England players are all about. They're not happy. Foster once again has been turned down. The umpire yet hasn't signaled leg by or head buys. Justin Langer's rubbing his head. He's been given a run so far, but I'm sure it will kick in with the umpire that it really is a leg by. Well, it certainly sounded like the helmet was a massive noise, yes. Flush on the top of the helmet. And now it's a fine leg glance by Damien Martin. Langer hit in the head, gets off strike. Martin capitalises with a four. Got him that time. Well, White's deserved that. Bowling has uh, had plenty of thought about it after tea. They bowled all right this morning. Got slaughtered in the middle session. And there is precisely the stroke Michael Atherton was talking about. Well executed plan by England. And the bowling to Martin Strength in a way. Having the field is in position. Marcus Trescothic taking a simple catch. Damien Martin gone for 17. Australia 3 for 265. Looked uh, as though it went in the air. Also went very, very fast. That man has been put back from the close catching position. There's two reasonably firm strokes last uh, two he's played. Quite deliberate. 
don't think of as far short of uh, being a six. It's gone for it. That's a very good shot. That's the best shot he's played so far. Off the back foot through cover. So Steve Waugh on the move here at the MCG. Great shot. Off the back foot, his favourite shot. Square on the offside. And it just made the rope. Well timed there by Steve Waugh. Really is taking the butcher. Another one. Nine fours. There's 50 for Steve Waugh. His timing has been with him today. Just two slips for Steve Waugh, no gully. Again, straight into the gap. Edged, and has he got forward and grabbed it? The keeper thinks he has. The butcher is not so sure. Difficult to see if that has carried. Good thick edge. Butcher moves well to his left. Ball didn't seem to bounce up in his hands. Mark Butch will know whether he jammed those fingers or not. He'll be the man who in the best position to say, and he wasn't sure. So I've got a feeling that Daryl Hare will rule in Steve Waugh's favour here. We're going to get a decision, and not surprisingly, not out. Well, that's beautifully played. Into the gap at extra cover, another four. That makes it 19 boundaries now. 20 if you count the six. Well, there's the cut shot again. He's got some runs in that area, Steve Waugh. He's been doing it all his career. It should be no surprise to anybody. And the bowler should very definitely not feed him there. Boy, he just loves him. Must be tied at the body. The right shoulder, maybe. Not outside. The line of the hands and off stump because Craig White has no chance and that rocketed to the rope. Same. Pleading with his bowler. Please get your line right. 356 for three then at the end of the day. Now consider this. 46 fours were hit by the Australians and four sixes. That is a worrying amount of boundaries. Justin Langer is unbeaten with 146. He's such an efficient player, but has added plenty of flair to his game. Hayden, brilliant. I mentioned that earlier, 102. He's a joy to watch. 21 to Ponting, 17 to Martin, and 62 exhilarating runs unbeaten to Stephen Waugh. Who's to say that he's not out there making quite a severe point? Plenty to come, of course, too, for the Australians. Martin Love and Adam Gilchrist amongst them.